I just thought this would be an interesting video to show you because nobody shows these. Only like for babies and women. So kind of fun. Uh, so I think I'm gonna call it uh, Milk and Cookies. Milk and Cookies photos. I gotta clean the... Is that better? Hi, Amber. Hi. <laughs> hey everyone, Monique Grenet here, photographer at Silver Paw Studio. But right now I'm back in Georgia with my daughter. Hello. And we've uh, bought this little kiddie pool for a cool photo idea. Uh, Henry the baby's inside with his dad, so everything's good there. Amber now has two dogs. So today we're gonna introduce you to her new golden retriever, Kobe, who's three? Three. Three, three years old. And we think he'll sit in this pool for this idea. A lot of people do this with babies. And we did this kind of uh, photos with Henry yesterday. And we're doing a little twist on it today. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing is babies often get what's called a milk bath photo session. I'll show you a little a few pictures of what it's like with Henry. And with Henry, we floated some uh, ferns, you know, and flowers around him. But with dogs, what we're going to do is float some treats, some milk bones. Oh yeah. Not sponsored. So for the milk part, we're filling this little cheapy, like $10. Yeah. yeah, $10 little plastic pool with water from the hose. With Henry, we've of course made it warm. And some milk, some powdered milk. But you could use regular milk. You could actually use cornstarch. I read about that. And just something to give it that milky look. And then the plan is to see if Kobe will sit in the pool and I can be over him. I'm gonna stand on these sturdy bricks and these will be floating under him like he's in uh, with milk and cookies. It's a little rainy today. <laughs> I've moved to the other side of the pool. The rain is still just a drizzle. We wanna work quick. Also before the baby gets hungry again, I'm just gonna pour some regular milk in. We used all the most, most of the powdered milk yesterday for Henry's photos. Ah, all right, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. It's got a few bubbles, but I think that's cute too. Let's do a test of putting the cookie in the milk. And I know from taking Henry's pictures yesterday that it's gonna look even more kind of milky and we're gonna edit this a little bit too. Uh, so we like this pool because it has white sides and there's a blue bottom on that, but we can always put some towels down there if we wanted to, but you could see it just looks white. It floats. Now to get the dog. The milk for the milk and cookies looks pretty good. I put a milk bone in there. Let's see if Kobe gets in. Right. You wanna go get it? Get in there. Hold on. Uh, so Amber's other dog, Ranger, we tried him in this yesterday and he wasn't keen on it. So the idea is to put the dog in first and then put the biscuits, the cookies in and get the pictures. And I also, of course, have my squeaky so i'm going to stand up here so here i just sped the footage up about two times speed to show you the overall process it was so muggy out i kept having to wipe the condensation off my lens and we just try to position them in the pool a couple things that i learned on this experiment was to obviously get a dog who's used to going into a pool and he seemed okay here he just didn't really know what we wanted him to do and so I'm trying to get, give him little pets and we're trying to encourage him over there like hey uh, why don't you sit and I, he does eventually sit um, a couple of things I would do different I would get a bigger pool while I was editing I had to edit out the edge of the pool a lot uh, maybe do a kind of galvanized tub that would be cool maybe deeper water for the dogs who are good at being in a pool or littler dogs because it almost just looks like he's standing on a white backdrop uh, like he's not really in the milk so i learned that too i also learned i needed a lot more biscuits in there to show the whole cookies and milk concept so i ended up in the final images cloning in and copying some of the biscuits into more of the picture uh, so, or use smaller biscuits, like an, I would have put an entire box of littler biscuits in that tub instead. So that was something I could have tried. Um, 
Yeah, and then when I took pictures of Ranger later on, he was only had his front paws in there. So his are all cropped in close to his face, <laughs> which was funny and fun. But I did learn a lot on this experiment. And I think if I was to try this on a client dog, it would definitely, the call would go out to dogs who already love being in a pool and would able to sit in a pool, especially a pool maybe a little bit deeper. Look how tall uh, these dogs are. So I think overall, both dogs did a fine job and I just have a few pictures to show at the end. Kobe's only been part of their family for a week, almost two weeks. <laughs> And he doesn't understand being in the pool, but he understands treats. We're gonna try Ranger too, uh, but we're not gonna film him. Yeah, but I think Kobe enjoyed it and I'll, I'll show you some of the end pictures. If you have a dog that loves the pool, this would be so cute. I really want to see those in the comments. Um, oh, here comes Ranger. Okay, I better get pictures of Ranger. Okay, it's starting to rain a little bit more. It was really, really short session. Amber and I have a couple more uh, picture ideas or another picture idea we want to do out here, but it's starting to rain and it's getting hot. So we're going to go inside and get some water and you might see that later on down the road if you are subscribed huh? and you paw the like button. So I'll see you next time. And as always, <laughs> I wish you many woofs, purrs, and T-R-E-A-T-S's. Oh, it's getting rainy. It's a little bit rainy. There's rain on my camera. There you go. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Good job, you two. Good job. Is that delicious? Yum, 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 yum.